In this segment, I'm going to be showing you what to look for and how to condition your fresh cut roses. This is typically how you would buy a whole bunch. They come 25 usually. So get to your bunch and open it up. These are fresh roses <coughs> imported from Ecuador. Beautiful. They're called Obeyed. It's a gorgeous, long-lasting rose, gorgeous color. So just open it up, take out the paper, what you don't need. Now when you do look for a rose, you want to make sure they're firm, not soft or droopy, and the ends are clean, not dark and black. That's good tips on that. So we're going to be using a knife, and the rose is like a beautiful long cut on an angle. I'll show you how that's done. Hopefully you've been practicing from the tools and supplies segment we did. So hold the knife and pull the rose, get a beautiful long cut, and right away into the water. That is the thing with roses. You can't cut, put them down, talk, and then put it in the vase, because by then the end is sealed, and then you'll get the droopy down rose. They don't like it. They get an air block. You have to cut and right away into the water. It's the perfect way. Now, I'm going to get one with thorns. So this one's got thorns. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can gently just nip off the tip with your knife, or you can use your cutters just to nip off the tip. If you don't want to get poked by the, the thorn, that's a good way to do it. Or you can just leave the thorns. Then you're not going to get that problem. Because if you take off the thorn and make a gouge, that's no good. It's like you've pierced a hole in a straw and you can't drink. Same with the rose. You must keep the stem beautiful and clean with no holes. Now, when you get packs of roses like this, they always come with the outer petals. They're called the guard petals. So you can pluck, if they're not very nice, just pluck them off. Just grab your finger down to the bottom of the rose and pull. It's, it's normal to get some on the outer that aren't the best. It's just protecting them in the package. That's all you do. Clean the bottom and cut. Now there is another way to cut, which is underwater. That's a really great way because you don't get air up the stem. You don't have to worry if you don't want to use the knife. Just get lukewarm water, nice and clean. Put the stem in the water with your cutters. You don't use a knife for this one. And underwater, you do the angle cut. Nice angle cut, so you still have that slant, and then right in the vase. Show you one more time. It's a great way. Under the water, your vase is ready, and in it goes. So that's how you get beautiful long-lasting roses, clean water, perfect cuts, no air. Also, sometimes when you're uh, going through your pack, you must watch out for popped heads. That does happen sometimes. It's a little crack. It just happens in the growing. So look, watch for that, and don't use those if you get one of those. Just put it aside and use the best ones. Enjoy.